Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming an Equis brand review. Um, basically, Equis is a brand that makes made in tail products, coat products, and fly sprays, all stuff like that. And it's um, generally sort of cruelty free, and they try to use sort of as good components as possible in their products, I think. So yeah, I've got three products that I've tested out and will review today and yeah, just stay tuned for it. The first product I have is the Avocado Mist and this is a conditioner detangler and it's oil free, silicone free, um, cruelty free. Um, and it's basically, it's a conditioning spray for mane's tails or it can also be used on their coats. And I bought this, this is the first Equis product I've ever, ever tried and I bought this um, as a detangler and I bought it in probably during spring, just before spring last year, this year, sorry, this year. Um, and yeah, because I wanted um, a good detangler that didn't have silicones, sort of wasn't bad for her mane. Because if you guys don't know, um, silicones are used in a lot of conditioners, detanglers and all that sort of stuff. It makes the hair slippy, but instead of like penetrating the hair and conditioning it, it actually just coats the hair, which ends up preventing any moisture getting in. So it's sort of in the long run acts as more of a drying than conditioning um, but this stuff doesn't contain silicone so that's good and this says it reduces hair breakage can be used wet or dry environmentally friendly anti-static alcohol free and non-toxic and basically you're just meant to spray it on <laughs> um, yeah this gives them a really nice shine on their coat and sort of really um, helps condition their coat as well as their mane and tail um, and it smells incredible. I can't quite put on, like, I can't quite tell what it smells of but it just smells so, so fresh and just, it's amazing smell. Um, and this, I found, it was such a good conditioner but maybe not the best detangler um, as you guys may know, Luna has like a really long, thick mane. Well, it's not super, super long, but I'm hoping it'll grow. But anyway, it's really thick and it's hard to keep detangled. So when I bought this, I wanted to, you know, try it out as a detangler to sort of, because I really, I find it hard in the winter to keep on top of detangling her mane because I can't wash it all the time. So what I used to do with this is I would spray it on quite a bit of it on her mane, leave it for about five minutes just to really set in and because when you spray this on it actually makes the mane damp. So I would um, spray it on, leave it for five or ten minutes and let it dry out a little bit and then I would work through it with my fingers and that's how I found it worked best um, rather than spraying it on and trying to do it straight away while it's damp. Um, I found sort of you get breakage and stuff if you do that but if you leave it for you know if you leave it to dry a little bit it makes the mane so soft and you know just much easier to work with but it doesn't make it it doesn't give it that slipperiness that quite like makes it super easy to detangle it so yeah that's my review on this it smells incredible it's really good conditioner but as a detangler could be improved I think but I mean because it doesn't contain silicones, I can't really um, complain. The second product I got is the Survivor Detangler, and this is a serum, and this does contain silicones, I just wanted to say that right away. This contains silicones, um, and the Avocado Mist doesn't. I think the Avocado Mist is the only product that doesn't contain silicones, or their only detangler that doesn't contain silicones. Um, and this is the most amazing detangler I've ever tried in my life. It is so, so good. Um, 
I mean, you only really need to use like the tiniest little pea-sized bit of this and it will just go through their whole tail. It's absolutely insane. It's super slippy, it makes their mane and tails so nice and soft and slippy. Probably not good to use before plaiting up. If I put like two little dots of this throughout her tail, I can brush through her tail with a brush and I'll get no hairs falling out. Um, I will get a few from her mane but it's not as strong as her tail so, you know. Um, but um, it does contain silicones which is the bad thing about this product. But I don't think it contains as many silicones as like other sort of spray products out there because what I tend to find with those products is you do actually, if you don't keep up using it, it, it does feel dry, the mane and tail, whereas this, um, you know, if I can use this one week and it'll last like a week, um, I won't need to use it again, and then if I, you know, if I don't use it again for another two weeks or something, it doesn't, her mane doesn't feel dried out or anything, it just, you know, gets tangled up a little bit more. Probably, Another bad thing for me about this product is the smell of it. Um, it's got a super floral smell, like, it's kind of like that, you know, really, really strong rose flower smell that it's just, it's so, such a strong flowery smell. But it's not like a fresh flower smell, it's just like that really horrible flowery smell. I just, I cannot stand the smell of this. But I mean, if you are looking for a good detangler, I think it's worth putting up with the smell because it does, it's incredible. Um, and you know, you might like that smell, it might just be me. But yeah, it makes their manes super shiny, super slippy and soft, doesn't make them look oily or greasy or wet. Um, so this is amazing, you know, even if you just use it for shows, if you're super like, if you won't use any silicones on your mane whatsoever. Um, I would still buy. <laughs> I would still buy this just for like shows or something, and then you could wash it out after if you really want to. But yeah, this is amazing detangler. And the third product I have to review is the Quiz Megatech Rebuilder. Um, this is like a conditioner, and it's supposed to um, promote hair growth. And it's also it, you can also use it on their feet to promote hoof growth. And first of all, this smells incredible. This smells incredible. Not like the Survivor Tangler. This is florally, but like it does have freshness to it as well. Um, but basically, you're meant to use this a couple times a week while washing their mane. Leave it in for five minutes and then wash it all out and um, it's supposed to promote stronger hair, promote hair growth and you can use it on mane's tails, feet and sort of like blanket rubs or any sort of rubs on their coat you can use it to promote hair growth and with this I'll be honest I haven't tested this out enough to, to really say if it helps with hair growth because I got this sort of at the end of August or sort of beginning September I think and I haven't been able to wash her mane two or three times a week, I mean I wouldn't do that anyway. I probably washed it once a week for probably most of September or something like that but then um, you know now it's autumn. <coughs> Sorry. Now that it's autumn, it's just gone super cold and I don't think, I literally don't think I'll be able to bath her again um, until spring, summer, so I'll probably not be able to use this, you know, until then, but looking at the ingredients, it, it contains keratin, which is generally really good for um, helping strengthen hair and grow hair, so this could work, maybe it doesn't, but what I will say is that this makes her mane so soft and just especially combined with the um, D 
detangler, I mean, it, it just it goes so soft and so straight and really, really nice. I mean, if you've tried this out for hair growth and it worked or it didn't work, uh, leave a comment below and tell me. Um, I'd be really interested to find out if it actually works for some people. So what I did the last couple of times with this is I, I damped her mane down. Um, probably about half an hour before I bathed her, I damped her mane down just a little bit with a sponge and I put some of this in her mane and left it on for about half an hour and then rinsed it out and yeah, her mane just was super super soft and just really really like conditioned and really nice. Yeah, I think this is a great conditioner and it's really good if you have horses with thick manes, thick tails um, that are generally like really hard to manage. This is great for them. Um, it is a re it is an expensive conditioner, but I mean, if you're willing to try it out, then I think yeah, I think it's a good product. So as a last note, I just wanted to say how awesome the, the packaging on these products are. I just think the bottles are really really nice and um, the spray bottle on the avocado mist is super sturdy and it never broke like a lot of them do. So yeah, I hope you like this review and it helped out a little bit if you are wanting to try the Chris products and you wanted to know more about them. Um, I think they're really really good products if you are if you are willing to spend the extra on sort of grooming products then they're great, especially if you have a horse with a long, thick mane and tail. Um, I would definitely give a quiz a try. Um, generally, the only thing I would say is maybe if they could make um, a detangler as good as this without silicones, I would be so happy because this is incredible. I just want to use it every day, even though you don't you don't need to use it every day. You definitely don't need to use it every day. Um, I would say this lasts like a whole week, just a, you know, a tiny little dot of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you like this review. Um, leave a comment down below if you've tried these products, if you like them, if you didn't. And links are down below if you want to see Instagrams, Tumblrs, whatever. <laughs> and give us a follow on them. But yeah, um, I just wanted to say I will be doing a pull up belt. Um, tutorial. So many people are asking on Instagram and on YouTube and I will be doing one. Um, it's just that I have, I'm so busy right now. Um, basically I'm moving house, I'm doing projects in college, I've got a five week project now and I have to juggle horses all the time so um, I don't have much time generally. I usually just like wake up, go to college, horses and go back to sleep. It's just, it's crazy, I hate it. Um, but. Yeah, so I will be filming that video when I get time, and believe me, I hardly ever get time, so I hope you like this video, um, please subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time, bye guys.